Your Daily 180, 180 Seconds of Pure Bible Study. In 3, and 2, and 1. We're in John 4. We're going to begin with verse number 43. Remember, Jesus had the encounter with the woman at the well. She goes into the city to call out her friends. She says, I've met a man who knew everything about my life. They come out. They listen to his message. They believe him. They ask him to stay, and he stayed there two days. That's verse number 40. Then we read in verse 43, Now after the two days, he departed from there and went to Galilee. For Jesus himself testified that a prophet has no honor in his own country. So when he came to Galilee, the Galileans received him, having seen all the things he did in Jerusalem at the feast, for they also had gone to the feast. Now, a couple of things that I want you to notice here, and we're, we're going to look at another gospel account to think about some of the things that happened in his own country of Nazareth. But the Galileans, they accepted the things that Jesus said. They accepted the evidence of the signs. Did you notice that it said they had gone to the feast, and so they, they saw all the things that he had done. And so this could have reference uh, to his visit to Nazareth and their efforts to stone him in Luke chapter 4, 16 through 30. In the synagogue, he read from Isaiah the scroll, and when he had finished, he said, Today this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. Now, as a result of that, they rejected him. In Matthew chapter 4, 23 through 25, and I want to set this up, and tomorrow we're going to begin talking about the message that he preached. It says, And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease among the people. Then his fame went throughout all Syria, and they brought to him all sick people who were afflicted with various diseases and torments, and those who were demon-possessed, epileptics, and paralytics, and he healed them. Great multitudes followed him from Galilee and from Decapolis, Jerusalem, Judea, and from beyond the Jordan. So he's going out and he's preaching the gospel. There are those like those from Galilee who accepted the evidence of the signs, and there were those who rejected the evidence of the signs. Now, we've already talked about this, but one of the things that, become clear, that becomes clear as we look at the Gospel of John, there's a development of belief, and there's a development of disbelief, and the common denominator is choice. Each of us have the ability to either accept the evidence and choose to believe Jesus, or reject the evidence and choose to not believe in Jesus. Join us again tomorrow for your daily 180.